Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 54 to 59. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky? Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will be not released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. And this to me highlights the importance of keeping a healthy relationship with our brothers and sisters. And to do so, it makes sense to me that the genuine expression of this involves sacrifice, altruism, benevolence, anything that transcends self-interest. However, the law of nature which governs the animal kingdom, where it's a dog-eat-dog world, serves as something of a hurdle to overcome. However, as human beings, we have encoded within us the governing systems that rule both the animal world and the divine realm. What I mean by this is that we have the ability to act in accordance of self-preservation, as well as working for the common good, even if it is at great cost to the self. And the latter has never been so perfectly carried out than in the life of Jesus Christ, where his two natures, divine and human, was in such perfect harmony. So as we hear today, Jesus' mission is for all of us to reflect the divine love which is constantly being beamed to us by God. An image that I find helpful is that of a luminous relationship between the sun and the moon. The light source that illuminates the moon is not from the moon itself, but from the sun. As such, we are mirrors that reflect the love of God in this world. So let us continue to maintain that reflective quality in order that our behaviors and actions continue to illuminate this world with God's love and with our relationship with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and luminous day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.